to as Lucario. Uh, every, uh, every time I've told somebody, like, Lucario is my favorite Pokemon, they look at me and they're like, you're a furry. And I was like, no, I just like Lucario's design. He's a fighter and a dog. Yeah. And he's a metal fighting type, which two of the types I love in Pokemon. Oh, yeah, steel fighting. Yeah, steel fighting. Yeah, but it's like, my, like, like Scizor's my favorite Pokemon, too. It's a steel type. Isn't, like, steel fighting, like, a bad typing, though? It is, because you take more, you take double, uh, you'll die to, like, fire, and fire is really, like, in Pokemon, fire is, like, the number one thing in meta, and fighting types are also meta, so, like, you... And isn't, isn't fighting steel weak to fighting anyways? Yeah. Yeah. And then steel is also weak to fighting, so you will, like, take four times the damage from fighting. The one thing that Lucario does, and then fire type two are like really popular. Yeah. So Lucario suffers against his own typing and fire types. But anything else, Lucario is done great. When it used to be like uh, like dragon types and ice types in Gen five, like Lucario just like wrecked everything. Don't, 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 don't remind me. Honestly, no whenever, someone, like, whenever someone talks about steel types, I just get upset. No, that Lucario also learns special and physical moves too. So like aura sphere aura and, and, such and, and close combat, he learns both of those moves. So he does, he's just really good at Pokemon. It's just the meta. We'll, we'll see how like Sword and Shield the game. Yeah, I'm excited for it. But speaking of excited for I'm really excited for this Winter's Finals. Sour actually already up a stock. Actual, actual battle of uh, the Yevlings. Mm. Kato's here here to play. Yeah. I mean, these are... I feel like I'm, I, I'm like not that old, but like you guys are like in your young 20s. And I'm Aren't like... you like 24? Yeah, I'm in my 20s. It's not, it's not even old. It's not old. I know. You guys are your early twenties. Yeah. You guys were born like 1999, 2000. I was born like 93. I mean, I'm, Sarah, I'm, I'm Sarah, a real '90s kid, man. Sarah and Neon are like hella young. They're like yeah. eight, they're 18 and 19. Yeah. That's yeah. That's what I'm saying. And up there. I forget Cyro's that young. I, I'm, I'm, oh man, I ruined it. I was I wasn't supposed to say that. I'm yeah, sorry, Cyro. I, I was. I, I'm sorry. Like. All right. Anyways, no, no, what? One, no, no one get, watches WNF anyways. <laughs> Back into it. Neon gonna take that first stock from Cyro. Nice jab into the kill back center. Air. Okay, I thought Cyro was gonna go for more of like a jab. Uh, oh, we got that clean down there. I thought he was gonna go for a run off counter. So we're no, I, I feel like the clean down uh, down there was a good opportunity because the stock is in. Um, I've said this plenty of times. Fox does take out his turn box when he goes for Fire Fox. Uh, I, I think the only character that admits to that in a, a small way is actually Falco. He is turn box doesn't stick, stick out as much. Yeah. Only his beak. Yeah. And his beak is not part of the turn box. So. Yeah, I can't even get a good reason. I love that jab. It was really to elicit a reaction. And some people, a lot of people, when they're scared, they get that jab. They'll just go for like an air dodge off stage and just kill themselves. Do the work for Eon. For a tilt. Nice. Right, pushing advantage here. I like that empty hop attempt too because he was looking to get the, either the. Basically, the poor man's little cross slash. Or. Uh, ain't, ain't shit poor about it, bro. Yeah, yeah there's nothing poor about it. That's true, man. Back here? Yep. Alright, go for a fire pop. Oh. Illusion? Yep. Yep. F tilt. Not, not much you can do. Even Eon's laughing about it. Yeah, he knows. Like, offstage, at this point, my like, Fox is winning. It just becomes a pretty quick class. That's the shortcoming of Fox in this game, too, is, like, his ability to kill is not the greatest. It's it's not, like, it, like it's... In Smash 4, like, his kill power was, like, pretty up there, but in this game, not His ability much. to kill is entirely based on two kill setups and a lot of reads. Yeah. It looks like Brigadier Dave uh, reset the bracket against. Uh... Oh, that, it's the guy who puts the codes on Steam. Oh, yeah. That's I was cool. oh, okay. So if you guys are watching WNF and you guys want a free game, which is Unist, there's a guy who has a code on on as his tag. Copy that code and you get a free game. He does this all the time. He literally wants everybody to play this game. I'm like, I'm so tired. Like, like, if you, like he wants everybody to play Unist a lot. So he like buys a code and he just puts it on there as his tag all the time. Shout out to them, man, because they have the game for free. Also, I forgot to mention this, but there, it was actually switched around. I forgot that. I forgot the tags, and Eon, like, I'm pretty sure we're playing. Roy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the tag persona is his. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I totally, like, forgot to look at that. Yep, I'm still back here. Two piece. I mean, the way he was playing, right? Was, anybody would have gotten confused and thought it was Sarah. Double up tilt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That man was, uh. Hey, I'm trying to play the bank off. Okay, Let's try to go for the, for the laser into fair. Porto, nice. I'm looking at uh, the case there, but he doesn't go quite feel it yet. Back air. Uh, Back for squad dodging, too. Yeah, I have to go for that low recovery. That was such a good mix up. 
Leon jumped at the point because he thought he was going to go for the, uh, the illusion. That up tilt, bro. That's, that's, that's a good up tilt. Yeah. Well, that lady getting that extra damage. Tries to go for the downer again, but not going to hit it this time. Get off me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sneaks in the laser, and he's barely able to recover. Good tech, though, but he might actually be dead. Nope. Sato misses the down air, but he sneaks in the back air from the ledge after that wall jump. That's that up tilt. Not going to get anything off of it. I was going to say, he's either going for down air or a space down tilt. There, gets him off the ledge. Now, is he going to go off for a start? I like the parry. Oh, I thought he was going to try to go for some, something. That was it either forward air. Oh, gonna... man, barely missed the tag. Probably got off on the timing just a little bit. Okay, I'm just coming in now. Parry, forward air. Can I kill? Four? No. Oh, actually, oh. I, that was bad DI. Yeah. Wow. That was, he actually goes to my I'm not talking about that DI. Yeah. Wow, that was he almost had that. That was an interesting instance of like the illusion trading because usually you think of a Falcon, you think just, just throw on a button, bro, to win every time. <laughs> it ain't the same box. That's kind of like one of those things too. Is like Falcon does lack a little bit of speed, but like when he loses, his speed, he makes a big power. The jump. <gasps> That's a forward. I was gonna say if he had that forward, that was gonna be it. Great Side meat. Yep. And he still has a fire on Fox. Barely missing the backer. I don't even know how that missed. Back throw. He could be setting up a potential, I was going to say either down or a grab, but up to the back air. This ledge trapping from Sire has been beautiful. Yep, down to the split it. Give him the split it on him, bro. It's way more prevalent in this game, too. Like, in Smash 4, it looked, it looked interesting. In this game, it looks like it's melee version almost. In my opinion. I, I could be just crazy. Alright, well, that's, that's a game one on game three here, man. This pretty much puts the player, the winner of this, at match point. Oh, we gonna see bird dittos? That's what I like to see. My man Cyro got the AirPod power up. Bro, I'm just, I'm telling you, you gotta get a nice pair of air of like headphones. A nice pair of headphones will take you years in Smash, bro. You look at all these top. You look at Tweak, bro, at Evo. He had a, I think, I think he had wired headphones. After that, all AirPods. Uh, what are you doing now? You know what it is? It's, it just gets so used to like being wireless. I, I'm, I'm not lying. Like the AirPods just feel nice not to like have a wire consistently in your way. Especially like yeah. my, my biggest fear too is like playing a set and then the wire from my headphones and my controller get feel, like caught up. Yeah. What AirPods? Awesome, what's awesome for me is like. When I play with music in, it's like, I don't know whether to put my phone, like, on the table or, like, in my lap. Because in my lap is awkward, but, like, on the table, it's like, yeah, there's that wire right in front of me, and I don't want to, like, touch it. And I don't want to, like, move involuntarily and, like, rip my phone out. Yeah. That's true. All right, so, you know, I'm just going to go buy some, uh, buy some AirPods. There you go. That was a read. <laughs> that was a read. Off tilt. That's the vortex. He's got it on, pretty much. I mean, it's giving Cyro a hard time coming back on the stage. But I feel like Cyro understands, like, making the character himself. Okay, this is how the words is going to work for Falco. If I can get away from it, I get the reversal. I get the 2 2, 80% to myself. And Eon comes back and tries to immediately close the gap a little bit bigger. So I make the back big, uh, the, the gap a lot bigger. Yeah, Falco definitely has up tilt into imagination in this game. But up tilt, it really does everything. It'll do your taxes. On God? Man. Uh, you can put that on the Queen. I thought, we were, I thought, man, shout out to Copy, man. He out there worshiping the queen back in England. Yeah. yeah. And now these, these birds are swinging. They're, they're going back and forth. They're going for a spin. I wouldn't say swing, man. I call it flap, flap in the wings, dude. Back here, yep. Go back and go. Have, have, did you see that video that Larry Lur put out where it's just like a compilation of him and Jump Steady playing? And it was just. Uh, Larry Lur up till back airing like jump steady like a thousand times. At one point, man, I just put the controller down. I was like, can you do well, something else? <laughs> <laughs> well, at one point, it's like, if I thought you wanted to practice, I you just wanted to beat me up, you could have told me. Yeah. Up tilt, up air. Yeah, Cyrus' conversions on like these Falcon Hums have been really clean while Eon's just been able to get these reads. 
I'm sorry, it's a little hard to pay attention right now. Eunice is kind of popping off. And it's hard I to told you, that. man. I've been watching Eunice all night. I made the mistake. I was going to get on commentary, but I was like, you know what, dude? I'm just watching these games right now. It's just got my attention. Bro, that's how I was with, like, fighters, like, back when it was, like, really big and everyone was watching it. Like, I'll be confident. I'll just be, like, watching fighters and be like, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm on mic. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't get the punish. Good for it, though. Still puts him off stage, and that's what Eon wants, right? Stage control, especially when it's one-on-one -on -one apiece. Yeah, but at the throw. same time, Eon definitely could have had that win. I think he just, like, missed it, but it tries to get some down throw. Yeah. Oh, he has to go low, and he barely makes the recovery. Forward air. Tyro finally either. getting back to the stage. Nice. Takes time to actually come back on the stage after he sees it up smash. Falcon's up smash is so ugly. Like, it looks ugly, and it's just not as great as it was in Smash 4. It's not. Its front hitbox isn't as big as it used to be compared to Smash 4, and even the back hitbox. It's not that big. But it's still really good to call out opponents with. Up tilt. Yeah, we're way too high percent to actually get these combos now. <laughs> Bro, they both ran up in shield. That's the top tier neutral. Shield pokes with the up air, though. He actually got kicked in the dome. Let's get these lasers coming in. That was, I, that that was, was a great that was, time to up smash. That was a great time to up smash. He already saw the second. After the end lag of the second forward there, he this was literally like... If, if Cyro missed it, I would have I would watched this, man. So I'm like, yo, man, what are you doing? There's a time and a place to up smash, and by golly, that was it. Eunice is popping off, man. Eunice is popping off. Speaking of popping off, bro, that combo's going hard. And it, it's really hard, too, because, like, Elnum is a great high champ, but the problem is, like, her skill gap is just so high. He perfected him. Yeah, he did perfect him. I'm telling you, Elnum, people people actually feel the character's not that great, but I'm like, Elnum is a great character. As, like, a high tier, almost top tier character. It's just the skill gap is so hard. You can just pick up Elnum and win a tournament. Like, that's a hard character. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be, don't be saying things like that, bro. Uh, unit Torch is going to get you. This is a great game. Play that game. In my opinion, the best enemy fighter. Right next to Guilty Gear. Sorry, Blaze Blue fans. Hey, bro. Blaze Blue sucks. <laughs> it's good. It's just not my game. It's not my game? <laughs> it's not my game. I, I wasn't really into Blaze Blue. Uh, Guilty Gear was like, one of my things. Like, well, like Central, actually, Central Fiction and like, Chrono State have them. Like, I liked, but I just never clicked with Cross Tag. I I was into Melty Blood, which got me into Junist, and I was into Melty Blood because the people who made Melty Blood made uh, that's a gateway drug. It is, it is, because that's what got me into called out. Wait a minute, that up smash because of Melty Blood, I got into Fate Stay Night, and because of Fate Stay Night, I got into Melty Blood really, really hard, and then because of Melty Blood, I got into Junist. Until Backer actually not gonna kill Neon. Probably. Yeah, totally, yeah, great spacing there. Yeah, with fire with uh, with illusion in this game, you can't like actually two frame it. You just have to put out a move that will Last already long be enough. Yeah. I love oh. that he got he went for that downer because he knew it was gonna trade and if it hit, yeah. then he'd go up and be able to survive. You might as well be the one that walks off with the trade with victory in hands. Yeah. There, yeah, nice. He gets the grab up throw forward air. Oh, yeah, gets that drag down forward air. Uh, I love watching Far or Farco's like do those like extended like drag down combos. Like if you watch Juice play and he gets into his groove, bro, he's out here dragging you up into air to air combos. Yep. Crazy eye. Oh, I love that Nair. That DI was he's horrible. He's still good. Though. He's got the Firefox still on deck. You don't have the great edge guards, but unfortunately, that up smash was enough to actually. That, that was gonna say it was. Hit? It was. That's amazing, man. Fox cheats sometimes. I'm telling you. An unpaid intern designed this character for Fox. An unpaid intern designed this one. <laughs> for sure, man. He said, "You want to make it fair? No, bro. I'm getting paid ten cents an hour. I'm gonna make the character and I'm going home." Yeah, I, I hit that crunch in overtime. I'm trying to go home and finish this character off before I can like. I haven't, had traffic. I haven't known sleep in days. Can I please go home? Finish the character. All right, he's done. It's actually funny because I know people in QA testing who've told me, like, we've designed, we've missed some mistakes before. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you think, yeah, you think people who, like, design fighting game characters and then, like, accidentally make a broken character, they'll, like, look I'm, at Twitter, like, I don't know who the designed this character that guy's like I don't want to expose anything. him too because like it sounds like a, like an uncle story like my uncle on Nintendo but I actually know somebody who works in Square Enix so he's told me a couple stories like yo man we actually really messed up at the city a couple times bro if I'd like made like broken characters like that like I would not show my face yeah. yo you were designing I didn't I didn't design that one it was a different yeah. one you, you you don't know me goes to a different school like he's told me like when you QA test games man sometimes you're just really trying to end the day all right, well, Eon trying to end the day here. Game five now between Cyro and Eon. This is a fight for grand finals, honestly. That's how you like to Just see stay it. Just on side. That's how, you, that's how you like to see a good winner's final. 
I want to know if Eon wins this one, will he put, take a photo with which enemy character will he take a photo with? Oh, oh, okay, so I can't call him out for being a weeb. You can say that? Alright, bet. You know, you know how you said, like, Melty Blood is a gateway drug? Anime is a gateway drug. Oh, yeah. Anime is a great gateway drug, man. I'm talking about Z. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Bro, Dragon Ball Z is like a gateway drug and I'm like wanting to learn how to fight. <laughs> that was Power Rangers for me. Power Rangers too, bro. Bro, you should have seen it like three months ago. Randomly, like it was, uh, it was like Copter, Shine, Kikomen, and I. Oh yeah, you guys all like took a trip to Little Tokyo just to find. <laughs> uh, not, not that, but. Like, <laughs> okay, that's kind of how it started. But like, we were just that's how it started. <laughs> we were, we were just like, at, we were like having a, like a little kickback. We we're like, yeah, let's watch something on Netflix. And then someone randomly suggested Power Rangers. And we're like, there's no way Power Rangers is on a Netflix. And then every Power Rangers on Netflix, and for the next three days, we binge watched so many episodes of Power Rangers. It was. It was so fun because we just had to, we got to make fun with how bad that show is. My favorite thing is when Power Rangers get exploded. The explosion is like 40 feet away from them and they just they, jump. They literally tap them and they fly away. I love <laughs> yeah, it. That's the best thing I ever do. Bro, that show was wild. As a kid, it was like the most amazing thing to watch. But like as an adult, you're like, man, this, that explosion is 50 feet away from him and he's just jumping into it. Or away from it. Speaking of jumping into it, both players jumping into these episodes. Look for percentage right now. Fair was... Man, you want to talk about jumping into something? That was, man, was jumping right into the arms of God and hitting that four there. I'm not gonna lie, that DI looked like it was. Ah, uh, doesn't get the, doesn't get the nair, gets bonked on the head. Hey, Cyro meeting the ugly color. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry, all the Falco's colors are ugly in this game. Like, in Melee, in, in Melee, he has great colors. In Melee, all his colors look the same, bro. Dude, they're all good. Okay, they're you know what? Good. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. They're all good. The green one, the red jacket, all good. This color, man, even the purple one. I don't know, the, the purple Falcon color is good. That's just because that's what I it's like. It's just because the shoes look nice. Hey, bro. Sometimes fresh kicks is all you need. You ever, you ever like walked out like had an all right day and then you put on like your nice shoes? You gotta, you get a little pep in your step. You get a little comfortable. Out. Yeah, that is true, man. It, do, it doesn't lose some. So, oh, speaking that of kicks, even uh, kicks, bro. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Red, sh the red shoes are better than blue ones. I'm telling you. you might be right. They were like cyan, like teal shoes. Teal is not my color. Actually, it is. It is. Bro, teal actually, actually, we we can we can rock teal because of our skin color. Bro, teal is a controversial color because people are like that's not teal. Yeah, it is. It is. Like you have to know what teal is to like say you like to recognize teal. Unless you like that's just blue. Cause yeah, people get like turquoise, turquoise, yeah. blue, cyan. Oh, up throw down air. I haven't seen that combo since ultimate released. If if this color Falco were wearing shoes, it would be Nikes. It would be red Nikes for sure. Falco is a character to wear Nikes. He is. Then again, his up tilt spawns by Nike, bro. Just do it. Oh. That F smash hits below ledge and calling him out. Oh, wait a minute. Cyro's, Cyro's down a lot. Game yeah, five. Wait a minute. Let's see if Cyro's able to bring this back. Mm -hmm. Cyro was known for this character for a long time. Played this. This is his baby. Can he bring it back? So right oh, now, Eon brings the combo. You can't really get hit by another up tilt. Or this down air. Eon, Eon is so good at hopping up the ledge. What conditioning from Eon? I'm telling you, he's so good at empty hopping at the ledge because he had Cyro mixed up on that. He's so scared of Falco back air. He's so scared of getting hit by grab by Falco for up throw, up throw up air. He's so scared of getting hit by a smash attack. Yeah, Eon. It's just the, the Eon's like, so good at making you scared. Yeah, you 